Hey everybody, this is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to add a video directly to a page or a post in your WordPress site. This is not about embedding a video from a third-party source. This is how to upload a video directly to your WordPress installation and then use that in your page or your post. So here we are on the dashboard and the process is the exact same for pages and posts. So I'm, I'm only going to show you one of them. In this case, I'm going to show you the post version. So we hop over posts and we click on add new. And we just enter a title. I'm going to call it my video post. We click down in the main content area and then we click on add media. And we don't have a video currently uploaded, so I'm going to click on upload files. And I have a short three second clip already recorded that I'm going to use. It's this short because for demo purposes, it'll upload a lot faster, but you can upload larger clips if you want to. And I'm gonna add a better title over here. No, I won't. I'll just make the title easier to read. It's called My Short Video. And there are three ways you can embed the video, either directly with, uh, with a media player that's built into WordPress. You can link to the media file, which if someone or it's a link and when they click on it they will go to another page where they can download it or watch it and the same thing with the attachment page they can either download or watch it but it's a link to a different page whereas the embed media puts the file or the video right into the page which is usually what you want so we click on embed media player click on insert into post and it generates the code for us even even has the video dimensions these are the exact dimensions of the, of the video, so it, it recognizes the dimensions and input those for the width and the height. And if we're happy with that, I'm sure you want to add a little more content here, but for this, this video I'm not going to. I'm just going to click on publish and then show you how it looks. Click on view post after it's published. And here is our short video. And that's it. That's how you upload a video directly into your post. The same process works for embedding a video or uploading a video, sorry, to your page. I have separate videos that show you how to embed video that you uploaded to a third party service like YouTube or Vimeo or Amazon S3. Those are the three biggest, most popular ones. But the process to embed videos from other sources outside of those three is also very similar. And I have videos going over that. But now that you know how to upload a video, there's something very important I have to mention. As a general rule, you don't want to upload video directly to your site. Every person that watches this short three second video is going to be using the bandwidth of my website server. And if you have a lot of people on your site watching your videos, and those are all hosted on your server, you're going to be using a lot of bandwidth. And you may pay extra every month for the extra bandwidth you use, which is the good scenario. The bad scenario is if too many people are watching at once, you can actually crash your site or they can crash your site because they use up so much bandwidth, the server can't deliver it all and the site just goes down. And so if you're in the middle of a big promotion, which is probably a reason you have a lot of traffic about people watching a video, that's the last time. That's the most, that's the worst time for your site to crash. So that's why I always recommend uploading to a third party service. However, I wanted to show you how to upload directly into WordPress just so you know how. And for shorter clips like this one, which is three seconds, it's not that big of a deal. But for, for clips that are over 30 seconds long that you think are gonna be watched a lot, I recommend uploading those to a third party service. So in this video, you learn how to upload a video directly into your WordPress site and host it on your server. And I hope this video helps you. Again, my name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media, and check out our blog, WP Learning Lab, where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.